Welcome back. My name is Anna V. Welcome back to my channel where I draw cute things. I use Procreate. Let's go ahead and get started. So we'll go to the plus sign. We'll go to a square, the 2048 by 2048P. Boom. Halloween inspired fall pumpkin with cute cat and hat in a hat. Oops, didn't mean to tap that. We'll go ahead and we'll start with the pumpkin. Change my brush to, we're not gonna, yeah, let's do some sketching. We should always do sketching. <laughs> I was thinking we should just ixnay the sketching, but then I thought about it and I was like, nah. nah. Um, let's try this Narinder pencil. Haven't tried it yet. There we go, that looks nice. Narinder pencil. I like to tilt double pinch with two fingers and tilt my paper as if I'm holding a real sheet of paper here. We'll start with a pumpkin. So it's an oval. Boom, that looks good to me. Boom. That was pretty easy. And our cat is about, oh, excuse me, let me add some rings to my pumpkin. A ring here, a ring there, maybe a ring behind it. And then ring behind that. Oh. Okay. And inside will be my cat right here. We'll go ahead and have his little hand saying hello here. And we're gonna make him my cat. My cat's name is Juju. He has white socks. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Do cats have five fingers like a human? I want to say yes. <laughs> All right, and here's his, his head's an oval. Another oval head. Give him a cute ear and a cute ear. And then from there, his little paw is going to stick out right here holding the pumpkin there. Another oval here. Boop. And there you go. There's my cat. He's just chilling, maxing, and relaxing, all cool, shooting some b-ball. Give him, give him a little hat, um, a witch's hat, maybe. Go ahead and just commit to an oval. It's okay if it's not perfect. And I will, hopefully, the other. There you go. That looks good to me. Let's draw in his little face. Got a little triangle here for the inner ears. So he's gonna be a happy cat. Give him a little button nose. Little button nose. And then from there we'll give him a smiley face since he's on Halloween. There's his two. And I like this kind of smiley face because it reminds me of anime. <laughs> and he's so cute. Look at that. All right, let's go ahead and clean up the sides a little, make sure he's of good proportion. And for funsies, let's go ahead and add a jack-o'-lantern type face. And jack-o'-lantern is gonna be happy too. Happy jack-o'-lantern. All right, so we have the basic outline for our cat for Halloween. We'll go ahead and add some Halloween pumpkin swirls. All right, so this is our sketch. This is our outline. I hope you guys can see that. It's fairly light. All right, first go ahead to layers. Tap the plus. We'll add a layer on top of the sketch brush to inking, I like studio pen, and that one looks too calligraphy. I don't really like that one. Gel pen, gel pen looks pretty cool too. Studio pen has been my favorite. Technical pen is really small. Oh, this one's large. I also like a thick, bold outline. Syrup has been good, I like syrup too. Now today we'll do a syrup brush. So every time I choose whatever I outline is, I always try to give it like a test run and it looks good to me. So we'll go ahead and get started. We'll do pumpkin first. All right, so from the 
Top of the pumpkin, we'll just add a notch here. Boop. All right, what's going on with this pen? That's. <sighs> Maybe we don't use that. Let's go back to Studio Pen, my favorite. Yeah, let's do Studio Pen. And let's go up to size 33. I'll go ahead and close the circle. <clears throat> And you can see here that this, maybe not that far back. See, now I'm looking at it and I don't like this last part of the pumpkin, so we're just gonna leave it at a nice two. All right, looks good to me. Then from there, again, we're only gonna do two since I feel like it's getting kind of crowded. I'll go ahead and trace. Since this is the outline, I am gonna take my time and straighten every corner. And so how you do so is you make the line, hold, and then hold, make the line, hold, make the line, hold, scoop the line, hold. Now it's cute when it's, make the line, hold. <laughs> So cute. Let's give him a little tooth. That was just for funsies. Go back in. Erase a little bit where the tooth is coming out. And there you go. You got our little pumpkin, dude. And from there, we'll go ahead and erase where his paws are at. I went to the eraser. You can choose any eraser. I think I'm at the size of four. Or three and I'm on airbrush soft brush you can use painting sometimes I'll use the round brush or flat brush kind of it depends on the edge that you want go ahead and scoop this down and back maybe not that much and bring his shoulder around so the oval for his head's a little too far f fat for me for my own personal taste so we're going to make it a little Thinner. Boop. And then I like to give my cat some tuft hair at the top. Whoop. Oh, see, that's too abrasive for ears. Ears look cuter when they're a little bit rounder. And I'm not gonna fill in the inside of the ear yet because it needs space. Uh, it needs to be thinner. This outline stays nice and thick. And as you can tell, I'm turning the canvas with me so that I don't have to move the entire iPad to get the curve from my wrist and my own elbow. So go ahead and we'll start this here. Bump one, two, three, four. Here's a little bump here. And we'll bring this down into here. So again, I'm waiting for <clears throat> the finish of the complete outline and I'll do the insides later. Now from here I'll all right, let's see if it works this time. Yes, that looks nice. Oh goodness, one more time. Okay, let's go nice and slow, see if it doesn't break. Nice, there we go. No worries about this. I'll go ahead and erase too far in. Go nice and slow and I'll erase the inside of this oopsie daisies I just made. And there we go, we're almost done outlining. Lift this to the top and drag down his hat. There you go. So now that I'm on this size, I'll go ahead and change it down to about 20. I'm at 20, excuse me, I'm at 20, 17. Less 17 sounds like a good number. And we'll do the inside ear. I wanna go nice and slow. Inside ear. 
we're getting ready for the holidays. It does. We live in Houston, Texas, and boy, it does not feel like fall, even though it's about to be Labor Day weekend. We'll go ahead and I want to start this from here and then have the pivot point come out like this. And I want him to be yelling like, yeah, Halloween's all tilted. <laughs> Again, he has a white paw. My cat has white paws. White socks, excuse me, to get this semicircle here. And we'll get his little paws in there. I'm gonna make it somewhat symmetrical. Uh, for those who didn't catch that, I used two fingers, two fingers to undo everything. All right, so let's take a step back and look at what we've got. All right, and then I'm gonna add the swirly swirl here. Oops. And I'm gonna make this layer behind the second one because I want it behind my cat. So we'll start from here. That's a good start, but I want it to end somewhere nice. Like that, that looks good to me. All right, so we'll go and hide my sketch. And then I'm going to combine these two layers. Oh, not yet, gonna erase right here, right here, change. Right, because I want it behind the pumpkin, not in front of the pumpkin. There you go, it's nice and behind. Now, I will go to layers, merge them together. I do so by pinching them together. Then I'll take a look. Oops, I just undid it. Here we go, there's your cat and cute, <laughs> cute pumpkin. So we're gonna color him in. Uh, not yet though, I need to add some leaves. Go back to our brush, add a pumpkin leaf. Some leaves over here on this one. Can be any leaves. I know they're nice and fluffy because I think they're part of the squash family. Um, but this is a pretty fairly simple design and we want him to look very simple, but cute. All right, so now that we've done with our cat and everything, I like to, our outline, I like to go back, take the arrow. He is too big for my taste. I'm gonna make him a little smaller. Then I'm going to center him to the center of my page. There we go. That way I have more breathing room around him Okay, let's add in our color. So this campfire color selection over here looks really good. I'm gonna take most of my color from this campfire. This is a stock palette of colors here. So we're just gonna take everything from here. This orange looks great for the base. This orange looks great for the base of my, boom, yes. Go to the new layer, add it to the bottom of it and then trace out your pumpkin or any area that would be orange, this orange pumpkin. Wow, I really like this color. This should be an eyeshadow color <laughs> or something. It's so pretty, it's a really pretty orange. All right, then I'll click and drag. Nice. Don't worry about the inside, I'll do them later. All right, so my cat's gray, which in this campfire selection has no gray. So we're just gonna go with this light green looking gray color. All right, so I'll trace everything behind. Because when I choose from the campfire selection, I'm just retracing the outline the tones of the colors will match the entire sticker 
you don't want to take any colors too far out of that range because it will look really funky. And you don't want things to look freaky deaky. Oh, they're so cute. He's so cute. I'm liking this color selection. All right, what color should the be? The hat should be this nice dark tealish green. Looks good to me. I like that color. I was thinking about maybe this auburn color up here. Now we should keep it this nice blue. All right, so we'll go ahead and trace the hat around his tuft of hair, trace around his ears. Again, you're welcome to go as slow or as fast as you need. Uh-oh. Delete that, that's a little too far out. This one's a fun one. Halloween is my favorite. Oh, so cute. So I just dragged that in. And look how cute and festive he looks. We'll go ahead and keep his tongue mm, this dark red. Color that in. And his ears can be this light pink color here. Get some light pink in there. Light pink. <laughs> and for the leaves, we'll go back to this light blue. Oh, I haven't traced anything yet, so you can't do that. Got to trace my leaves for my pumpkins. So when you do so, I'm sending the viewer's eyes down towards the vines and the pumpkin because it's the same type of blue and green color that's coming from the cat and the hat. <laughs> cat and the hat, that's so silly. That's a silly thing to say. All right, this is looking real good. I am really happy with the end result of this. So I take my finger and I drag the color in to each leaf. Boop, boop, boop. And if it's small like this, I'm just, I'm just faster to color it in by hand if it takes forever to find the actual match. All right, we're almost there. He is so cute. All right, and to do a fast, oops, a fast tap, I'll hold here, here, and I'll do his inner paw since I forgot it. Boop, boop, boop. And there's your cat and your pumpkin. Change, let's change the inside of the pumpkin to a dark red. Sorry, I forgot, I haven't. We don't wanna do black or commit to such darkness because it is a light, like the light season of fall. We're not committing hard to dark black. Only the dark outline is what we're committing to. Oops, again, that same tracing technique takes a few minutes as you, whoop, just kidding. I guess I didn't close the box somewhere. Retrace, let's try that again. And whoop, uh-oh, what's going on here? All right, let's make it the biggest you can and just fill it in by hand. That was odd, I've never experienced that before. Maybe there's a break in the outside line because this pencil isn't my favorite. All right, almost there. Last thing we're going to do is add low lights and shadows. So everything I've just used is here in my history bar. This color looks like the cat, so we'll drag it down on the disc and add some shadow. Yes, there we go, that's what I'm looking for. Some shadow to the cat. Doing that same fill technique, let's add a little bit bigger Make it nice and smooth. It's a little shadow from the pumpkin. Maybe a little shadow from the side of his face. Shadow behind his ear. Shadow from the curvature of his head. Over here to cover up that mess up. A shadow here. Just gives the, the character a little dimension. There you go. All right, let's add a shadow to his hat. So his hat was this color, I believe. Drag it down just a few, like a millimeter down, and we'll add a 
a shadow here in his hat. And you can change the size if you need to fill. We're also going to add a shadow underneath the hat. Oops. Yeah, I think it was the pencil that, the pen that broke. And then we'll fill all of this a little bit darker color. Again, just adding a little dimension to our cat in our drawing. These dark shadows. There's many ways you can shadow. There's not just one way, but with Procrea, I just like choosing a, a color that's slightly darker. So you can also just tap here, hold it, go back to your color, go down to about there. We'll use that color. Making this a little bit bigger, my brush a little bigger. Give the pumpkin some dimension. Here we go, and we'll do this side. And usually when I do shadows, I try to pick a point of light source. This one's kind of directly in front coming down. All right. And because he's my cat, I'm going to add a little, <laughs> he's so cute. Oh, I see a little misprint here. I'm going to get here and then I'm going to color back in here. Let's darken the eyes. So I'll go ahead and take my finger, hold it here in the red, go back to the color and then go about half a millimeter down. And then we'll color the insides of his eye and his mouth. And this eye here. All right, so cute. Oh, my cat actually has a white belly. So we'll change that. I'll go back to the white. Man, how does that look? Does that look off? Yeah, I think, I feel like, let me go ahead and commit to it for a second and look at it. Because it's so color filled, I'm going to bring it back to its original and leave it there. So one thing I don't like looking at this is there, this line here looks like it comes in too deep into the cat's belly. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this line a little. I went back to the line page, go back to black. and then bring the line that looks way too thick. Try to match it, try to match it and bring it down instead of in. Yeah. Fix this pumpkin, fix this pumpkin line. Oops. And then from here, take this color, go back to our, this line and we'll fill it in. Boop, there we go. So now he feels a little bit more proportionate. Also, this kind of bothers me that there's this line back here. So we'll go back to this layer and erase. So I think it's the opacity that's changing. Do you guys see how it's slightly erasing it? Let's make this a little smaller. And there you go. Clean that up nice and good. There we go. And that's it. Here is our cute cat, which he's my cat. I know he's gray and he looks a little green here, but that's okay. I wanted the Kelly palette to look the same. Uh, go ahead and sign your work. I'll go and use a color from here. I'm liking this dark green color. Go down a few shades, change my, and I'll write my name here if I'm printing this sticker, which I probably am. Anna V. Phelan 2023. And there you go. Uh, you can write something cute here. Sometimes some people, now is the time if you want, you can add some cursive. I'm already on Studio Pen. You can write Happy Halloween. 
something something neat, something silly neat or whatever you like. Uh, this is your. I don't personally like that, even though that looks really fancy. I could cut that out for a second and recenter it. It is pretty messy. I use the arrow and I cut it out and I recenter it. Maybe I make it a little smaller. This is happy Halloween or happy fall. Thanks guys for watching. That's the end of this. You can draw this cute cat in a pumpkin. <laughs> you can make it your cat if he's got white paws. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Adios.